What's going on everybody? So the other day I posted that video, that little moto vlog showing you all doing some wheelies and everything in the Grom. Now, I know you guys are wondering what kind of modifications I've done to it because yes, I have started modifying the Grom. So let's go ahead and go over all the mods and everything. I'll go ahead and tell you my honest reviews on the parts since I've been using, abusing the shit out of them. And uh, yeah, so this is just kind of to inform you guys, like if y'all are looking for parts and everything, what's on the market that I, I am using currently, that half the people that I ride with are using currently, and what I think of it. So let's go ahead and get to it. As you can tell, the Grom looks a whole lot different than, from when you guys saw it last. Like, the last time you saw it, it was pretty much all stock, except we did a Fender Eliminator kit, and that was pretty much it. So this is how it looks now. I think it looks a whole shitload better. Like, I am super happy with how it looks, except for the red. We gotta change the color. But that's okay, we're gonna get to that. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get to the parts I've actually put on the bike. And then down in the down in the description, I'm going to go and link everything. So if you guys are trying to buy any of these parts that are available, like through eBay or wherever I ordered them from, I'll go ahead and link those down below. And then also, I'm, I'll go ahead and like tag the people that built some of the certain things that are on it as well, because you're not going to find them on eBay or any of that stuff. So, all right, let's go ahead and jump into it, guys. So first, I got rid of that ugly ass big fat exhaust that sat up underneath there. Just hideous, absolutely hideous. I ordered this AOD only racing exhaust and it sounds really nice. It's got this real nice deep tone to it. It's nothing too wild, it's not that loud. Like I was afraid it was gonna show up and I was gonna be like, oh my God, I can't even like fucking hear myself think. No, it's actually like perfect, it's not that bad. I throw my headphones on, you can definitely hear it a little bit but it's got like a nice grunt to it. Like almost take like a 250 dirt bike, like a four stroke dirt bike and take away just a little bit from it. That's pretty much what it sounds like. So go ahead and order one of those. If y'all are looking for a cheap exhaust, I think I paid like 110 bucks for it and it took them like maybe a week to get here. All right. So next thing right here, since we're already down below, this is our rear handbrake setup. Now, obviously this is not something that I ordered. This is something that a buddy of mine, Chris, made for me locally. And I will go ahead and link him down in the description. But it's perfect for when you're doing wheelies and everything. Hi, Rio. You are just so excited. He wanted to be in the video, don't you? Okay. Anyways, guys. So, it's just an extended brake line. You run it up and through, blah, 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 blah. And it comes all the way up. And then it goes over to here. So, up here we have our third, third brake lever. It is perfect awesome for when you're doing wheelies because then when you're doing like you know like a sit down spreader or something like that and you got your feet off the rear brake you just tap that or when you're doing stand-up wheelies on the pegs same thing speaking of the pegs same guy made me all this so he made my 12 bar setup and my rear peg setup now that 12 bar works perfectly obviously i've already scraped it and then the pegs are amazing perfect standing position when i'm on them and then i ordered this grip tape off ebay it comes in tons of different colors I'll link that in the description as well. So if you just so happen to want some grip tape, I will show you where to buy the grip tape. <laughs> All right, next thing, KLX 110 pit bike bars. I heard a lot of people ranting and raving about how awesome these things were. I rode one of my friend's bikes with it. I fell in love. Now that I have them on my bike, I'm even more in love with them. It feels like you're riding a dirt bike. Like legitimately, it feels like you're riding a dirt bike the entire time. It just, Oh, it makes the bike so comfortable and just cruising around on it is just amazing. So that's the only only thing I can say about those is just fucking great. This clutch lever that I got, it's just a little baby bitch lever that I got off eBay. It was like 20, 25 bucks or something like that. Now, it is not ball bearing, so it's, you know, I'm sure that's going to fail sometime soon. But for right now, it's doing its job. It's not too bad. The anodizing's real nice on it. Almost matches the blue that I got back there. Real close, actually. All right. So, next thing, guys. I decided to be one of those guys. I decided to be that guy. And I put some lights on my bike. So, I did this little switch up in my fender. And boom! We got some LED strips that are sitting up in there. So, at nighttime, when I'm doing wheelies, you can see just the whole bottom of the bike lit up as it's sitting up at an angle. So, I thought that was kind of cool. Not too shabby. And then right up here, we got our flush mount turn signals. These are off eBay, they're like 10 bucks. They took about two weeks to get here. Real nice. Um, they did not come with the harness, so when I do hit the turn signal button, that just stays lit up and uh, that's it. It doesn't blink and then obviously I don't have your rear turn signals. I don't, I don't need those anyways, screw it. But yeah guys, so that's pretty much all I've done so far. 
and I'm really, really happy with it. I've already got like over a thousand miles. I think I'm up to like 1,200 miles on it so far, and I'm just loving the shit out of these Groms. If y'all are looking for a Grom, go buy one. Just go ahead and get yourself one. It is a blast. They're great on gas. They're so much fun to ride. Why would you not buy a Grom? All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog on that. If you guys could, go ahead and like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Maybe the next one will be a moto vlog. Maybe it'll be something else. Maybe it could be something to do with all these GoPad parts I have sitting over here. What's going on with that? I wonder. All right, guys, see you on the next one. Peace.